just wasn't very exciting to watch. Fortunately, the second replay from the same battle that he sent in from Fargangru here in the Des Moines absolutely was. Fargangru's a funny fucker. The first thing he says there in chat is that he's going to fondle him some double Ds. Now it's entirely possible he's talking about boobies, but, well, given that he's in a radar cruiser, it's more likely that he means destroyers. It turns out that Fargangru is actually quite infamous amongst his clanmates for clapping lollies. <laughs> And he does in fact confirm in chat that he is going to, and I quote, clap them lollyboat cheeks. <laughs> I do love it when you meet a player who enjoys his work. <laughs> anyway, sadly for... I'm sorry, I'm going to need a minute. <laughs> oh. All of those poor, defenceless, underage boats. <laughs> well, anyway, um, sadly for Fog and Gru, uh, he's not going to realise his ambition <laughs> to, f <laughs> to clap them lollyboat cheeks. <laughs> I think I'm going to do myself an injury here. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, I've got it under control. <laughs> oh god, I haven't. <laughs> oh, there's a 1375. He weighs all of 14 tons. He's going to have a go. He's going to have a go. He's... I have you now, Yankee dog. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Who put that tree there? <laughs> no, we do not accept your surrender. <laughs> Next. Moving up the flank here. Using the road embankment there to give him some concealment. Stops behind the trees and just stops for a look. Just just to see whether or not that T-57 is going to be dumb enough <laughs> to do this. And, um, well, yeah. Turns out he is. Borso's first shot by some miracle didn't actually do any damage, but that guy's got 1500 health. And you'd think that at some point he's going to be aware that he's actually taking fire and <laughs> might do something about it, like, oh, I don't know, you're a tier 10 heavy tank. Even if you can't see the target, you know where you're getting shot from, perhaps. Turn the front of your tank to face the source of the fire. I hear that's where most of your armour is. <laughs> but no, he just keeps herpa-derping across the road in the middle of the open, heading back. Well, perhaps... There is some element of thought going on here. He does at least appear to understand that his base is liable to come under threat. And, oh, hang on a minute. What's he saying in chat? And this is where things just take a turn for the surreal. He's offering himself up as a kill to Borso. Perhaps he's feeling generous and he wants Borso to get the Kolobanov's medal and the Radley Walters medal. No, he's doing it because his team, wait for it, Wait for it. There you go. <laughs> no, he wants Borso to win because his team is full of idiots. That's right. Borso's done over 8,000 damage and he's on 7 kills. But this T-57 is going to let him win <laughs> like he could stop him in order to punish his team for playing badly. This from the T-57 Heavy, the top tier, tier 10 autoloading heavy tank who has fired 11 shots and only hit and done damage with two of them in this match. A level of lack of self-awareness that is absolutely breathtaking. Borso did 8,769 damage in that match, not far short of 9,000. And where's the guy who let him win? <laughs> where's the guy without whom all of this would not have been possible? There he is, fourth from the bottom on the enemy team list with 738 damage done. He fired 11 shots, and only two of those hit, and he's in a T-57 Heavy. You actually won, because Superstar Steve in the T-57 Heavy let you win. <laughs> and he let you win because the rest of his team played so badly. 
The guy in the E4 who did nearly 10 times his damage, he's an idiot. <laughs> his entire team were full of idiots, and so he very graciously decided that you deserve to get the win. Where do we find these guys? <laughs> I don't, I, oh, no, I've got nothing. <laughs> Shimakazis, it'll be a fair fight, and we don't like fair fights. Torpedo spotted, Shimakazi spotted, and yet Dave is not counter spotted. He picked up that Shimakazi at a range of 6.9 kilometers. The only way for that to be possible is for him to not be running the concealment mod or have concealment expert on his captain. And he's only got 17,900 health as well, so he's not running survival expert. And I'm pretty sure that these torpedoes are being launched from the noob tubes, <laughs> so this could very well be. This guy's very first game in the Shimakaze. Maybe even with just a three-point captain. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yep. <laughs> so, tell me, how are you enjoying your Shimakaze experience? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, it reminds me of the first time I took the Shimakazi out. <laughs> I didn't have a 10 point captain either. Let's just have a look at the gun on the IS 7. Because, the, you know, bear, bear in mind this is a tier 10 heavy, right, with, with this 130mm gun. And they're not that different. <laughs> um, I mean, they are different, obviously, but just compare them for the sake of a laugh. Right, the, this thing, let's get back, let's get it back up. This SU-100Y has a slower rate of fire than the IS-7, but not by that much, 3.75 and 4.38. It has less penetration by a substantial amount, 196 versus 260, but, you know, it's tier 6. It almost does the same damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is absurd. 440, that's, that's what makes this gun, that's what makes this thing the little tier 6 BL-10. 440 damage, right? Everybody complains about the KV-1S being overpowered at tier 6 with its 122mm gun that can do 390 average damage. This thing does 50 average damage more. <laughs> it's the same tier. <laughs> it's only doing 50 average damage less than the IS-7, and that's a tier 10. <laughs> and it's more accurate. <laughs> and it aims faster. <laughs> Oh, hang on, I'm going to need a minute here. <laughs> That's a bloody tier 10 heavy tank gun. <laughs> this, <laughs> it's a tier... Oh no, this is too funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you, you have, what you have here is a tier 6 premium tank destroyer. Oh, God, sorry folks, you're going to have to give me a minute here. I'm laughing my ass off. <laughs> You've got a tier 6 premium tank destroyer that has a gun that actually compares quite favourably <laughs> versus a tier 10 heavy tanks gun in every category other than penetration undetected thanks to the smokescreen laid by the Fletcher. Pay attention to those torpedoes. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry, he's not going to team kill anybody. Hertz saw the torpedoes in plenty of time. He heard the torpedo warning alarm, he took a look. Oh yeah, for any torpedoes launched ahead of me. No problem. Hertz is now closing in, and he's following these torpedoes, which are going substantially faster than he is. I mean, the Hatsuhari wasn't a slow ship. It'll do 37 and a half knots, but, well, those torpedoes are probably doing 62. So, enemy ships. Remember, there was a Sims-class destroyer lurking around. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> Now remember, those torpedoes were launched from that cruiser long before this Sims even popped up in visual range. Now, Hertz of course has been spotted. The second he fired at this Sims, and he did hit him, and well... Um, <laughs> that Sims must be going, what the hell? Actually, the cruiser that launched the torpedoes is probably going, what the hell? <laughs> a destroyer? There were no destroyers down there. Well, there aren't now. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I thought that was really funny. 
Uh, anyway, uh, as Hertz opened up on that Sims, he obviously got spotted by the Sims as soon as he fired his guns. So he's popped his smoke. Now, remember, he got spotted by the Sims. So his position is, or was, there on the map for everybody to see. And I'm pretty sure he's about to get spotted by aircraft as well. So let's just double check this. Let's see if he actually does. I, I, I think he did get spotted by aircraft as he was loitering around the end of the narrows here. And yes, that is... There we go, he's been spotted by aircraft. And that, just lumbering straight down the narrows in the middle of the map, is a tier 10 Japanese cruiser. That's the Zao. How much attention... Do... <laughs> How much attention do you think that guy is paying to what's going on around him? Do you think he's actually watching the map and paying attention? Or do you think he's just tunnel visioning in on the ships that he can see... And he's about to eat a face full <laughs> of 610 millimeter torpedoes. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at that. No luck, only skill. <laughs> I have lost track of the number of top tier cruisers and battleships. Um, and I've been one of them. I, I, I'm not sitting here pointing fingers and saying, aha, you suck. Well, I am. But I suck as well, because it's happened to me too. And there is absolutely no way that they saw that. Oh, 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 hello. <laughs> he missed. <laughs> well, I think he's found the T-150. And, um, oh, there's one. Come on. Come on. No T-150. Don't back up. Okay, well, do back up. Give KV-2 chance to reload gun. Don't use your superior reload to defeat KV-2. Give KV-2 easy kill. Oh, not that easy. Oh, 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 suddenly, he, suddenly he's not looking quite so clever. Come on, come on. They think it's all over. It bounced. <laughs> Strong Russian armor. <laughs> what happens when the Russian tank meets a Russian tank? Russian tank with biggest gun wins. <laughs> oh crap. Ah, he's missed. <laughs> Do you see your life flashing before your eyes, Marta 38T? <laughs> Why are you now turning away? You know that all of your guns are in the front, right? And your secondaries are mostly only 100 millimeters and at best are only going to set fires without doing any damage. What the hell are you doing? What, on what planet does this make any kind of sense? So that sudden rush of shit to the brain from the Jean Bart, accompanied by the equally sudden rush of shit to the brain from the North Carolina earlier, who did more or less exactly the same thing, means that Flambass is now on 183,000 damage. And now it's back to the grosser curve first. Yeah, you thought we'd forgotten about him, didn't we? Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so special. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? You know, believe it or not, I don't actually like... Well, I do, but I don't want to just laugh at people just for the sake of laughing. Sometimes there's a method to the madness. You may not understand why somebody's doing what it is that they're doing. Um, you may not be in possession of all of the facts, or you may be watching somebody who isn't in possession of all of the facts. And it's basically just reacting as best to the facts that are at their disposal. But sometimes it's just this. <laughs> there's nothing absolutely nothing about what you're watching um, that can be put down to logic <laughs> sense or, or any kind of plan and and you're just looking at somebody who's basically rolling their face all over their keyboard um, possibly having a great time doing it <laughs> but <laughs> and, not being terribly effective. And I, I I think that's probably the kindest thing I can say about that grosser curve first. Remember kids, anybody can make it to tier 10 in a wargaming title. <laughs>
It's just a question of how many games you're prepared to lose on the way. <laughs> wow. That was pretty special. <laughs> Does it make me a bad person that I find that funny? <laughs> okay, so... Oh, he's turning, he's turning, he's turning, he's turning, he's fired. Oh, he didn't kill him, he's missed. Ah! <laughs> uh, we're going to have you now. Oh, oh, that was unexpected. Uh, that was quite unfortunate. And that means, oh, <laughs> oh, justice has been done. Yeah, chew on that one. You didn't see that one coming, did you, Rommel? <laughs> You know, at this point, I actually had to stop the video and go and check the stats of the T-57 Tier 2 artillery. That thing only has 28mm of frontal hull armour. <laughs> it survived two direct hits from a 75mm howitzer. What the actual fuck? <laughs> oh well, seal clubber denied. So that was quite amusing, but that's not what's funny. This is. Look at this guy. <laughs> what is this Cruiser 3 doing? Why are you there? <laughs> Look at him, he's like, hey, I can see my house from here. <laughs> this is your last best chance of winning <laughs> after doing eight kills. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> can you imagine? Look at this. <laughs> oh, I'm going to need a minute here. Oh, I've, I've seen this, I know what's going to happen, and I'm still laughing my ass off. <laughs> You've got to understand, right, that I'm not... Well, I am poking fun at the Cruiser 3, but you have, you have to understand that this guy may have only been playing World of Tanks for half an hour, right? But that doesn't mean it's not funny. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? Look, enemy tank. There. Two of them. Turn... At least point the gun at them. <laughs> This is why I love low-tier games, because you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> They're completely unpredictable. Now, T-18. <laughs> How's he going to deal? Oh, oh, is he going to move? It looked like he was going to move. Maybe he's not going to move. Maybe he will. Oh, he is moving. He's moving. T-18 misses. He misses. <laughs> he drives into the wall. He's sitting sideways on in front of a T-18. He misses again. Well, <laughs> Tier 2 battles are fantastic. <laughs> All he's got to do now is kill the artillery, and he's won. <laughs> you can be the hero. Just do the right thing. That's all you, <laughs> That's all you have to do. <laughs> No, we're going to drive into the wall again. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, now we're going to drive into the wreck of the dead tank. <laughs> God, I'm going to need a minute here. <laughs> What's he going to do now? <laughs> Cole, serious question. If you're watching this video, and I suspect you probably are, tell me, how did it feel watching this guy <laughs> driving into walls, <laughs> completely ignoring the cap counter, which is telling him where the T-57 artillery is? How did it feel knowing that you just scored eight kills, dirty kill-stealing seal clubber that you are, and this guy is your last best hope for the... <laughs> <laughs> for actually winning the game. Did that make you mad? <laughs>